G'day there guys, how's it going? It's Cody coming to you guys with a video. In today's video, we're talking vision boards. I got a comment from the last video I did, the update video. Um, Mark put a comment in there um, and he wanted to uh, like understand vision boards and find out what they're all about. So he left this comment here, hey Cody, not sure if it's too personal. Would you mind sharing your vision board? Never done one of these. How do you set it up? So in this video, we're gonna cover that. Just gonna go over sort of why I do a vision board and I've done a couple, maybe the last few years. And I'm just gonna share my story and how it's benefited me. So for me, I like to use a vision board as a visual representation of my goals and aims for life and especially just for the next year ahead. I try not to live too far in the future and I like the vision board to reflect my upcoming year. So this is for 2020, this vision board behind me, I'm still sort of working on. I got a little bit of, you know, plain spaces here and there that I'm just working on filling up with some quotes that really tickle me fancy and all that kind of stuff. But essentially, this vision board includes everything that I'm sort of aiming for, my goals and all that. So before I created the vision board, as you can see here, there's a whiteboard here. Um, I wrote down my goals and aspirations for 2020, sort of where I want to go, what I want to do, what I want to achieve, the person I want to become, uh, my most important visions and you know direction and goals for, for life and for this year. So I wrote those down and it was a bit of a long process to sort of figure that out and make sure that it's purposeful and you know it's worthwhile pursuing and something that I'm going to continue to want to pursue six months from now you know it's got to be sustainable in a way in, in that in that sort of way um i've got some tips if you guys are looking for um you know guidance for direct for like figuring out what you want to do in life and goals and and doing that sort of stuff um jordan peterson um some of you guys may have heard of him um and a lot of people don't really like him um, i'm not sure why but Anyway, he has a program called the Self-Authoring Program, um, which I think costs maybe seven, maybe seven to fourteen dollars, somewhere along that sort of spectrum. And it's essentially a website that you sign up to. And he's a clinical psychologist, so this guy's worked with a lot of people in sort of turning their lives around. And he asks some really good questions about your life direction. But the program in particular that I used was called the Future Authoring Program. Um, and a few things that are in, I've just got to hear on my computer is, one thing you can do better. So you, it's sort of just a, a meditation and a reflection. So he asks a question and you sit there, type it out or handwrite it out. Um, and just, you know, it's sort of like a journaling process where you're getting your ideas on paper. Um, things you want to learn about, habits that you want to improve, your social life in the future, your leisure activities in the future, your family life in the future, your career in the future qualities you admire so this is looking at people you admire and that's one of the the things that I've included on this vision board is a lot of them are people that I admire and parts of their life that I admire about them that I sort of want to implement into my life so um, yeah a lot of people I've included on on this vision board that we'll, we'll get into a bit more detail and I'll um, go through like examples of what I've included on the board in a second with you guys so, you know, just, just looking for those inequalities and then it gets to your ideal future. So this is where you get to sit down um, and you go like answer the question of who you want to be, what you want to do, where do I want to end up, why do I want these things, how do I plan to achieve these goals and then lastly it also gives you the opportunity to meditate on the idea of a future that you want to avoid um, and this is something that sort of can push you into the direction you want to go because if you're looking at you know where you may end up if you don't follow through or you don't you know pursue your goals then that could be enough motivation for you to go after them if, if that makes sense by sort of imagining your um, least ideal future in a way but yeah that's a really good program that I recommend um, if you guys want to check it out um, I'll try and uh, link it up down below. Um, but yeah, essentially that's what I've done. Is it just, it's a long process, you know. Don't expect this, you know, to happen in a weekend. 
um, it takes a lot of thinking, you know, because it's your life that you're planning here. So you got to sort of figure this out, you know, and figure out it's something that you really want to do. But essentially, guys, I wrote down the goals on my board here. So essentially, just written down all my goals. One of my top ones is earning goal, and then a give back goal, and blogging, YouTube, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, you figure that out for yourself. But yeah, essentially, like some of the goals are, you know, create an amazing career with passion. Um, get to financial freedom. For me, that's ten thousand dollars a month. Um, set up an amazing lifestyle. Committed to personal development and rebuilding myself, um, and giving back and helping change the lives of others for the better. So that's just some of my goals there. Um, but yeah, let's get into the vision board because I'm pretty excited to share this with you guys, um, and I'll show you like the logistics in terms of like how I actually made the board as well. Um, so you guys can get started and make one for yourself because it's something that I really recommend and every time you wake up in the morning and you put this where you're going to see it on a regular basis you can just sit there and visualize um, the, the book The Secret talks about um, this board actually in the book I think and they also talk about visualization and imagining your ideal future um, and, and in turn if you do that over a certain amount of time you're attracting that into your reality um, and it's quite groovy stuff that I really like um, and for me it's proven to work in the past so I continue to do it um, but anyway enough of me chatting let's get into the vision board and I'll show you guys what it's all about so as you can see this board is just a box like a moving box that I flattened and I've just used the inside of it to stick it down um, all the things that I want to achieve in a way and simple tools all I used was some scissors and some glue cut it out um, just find the stuff on the internet cut it out and stick it on there and that's pretty much it so for example in this board you can you know put like places you want to visit like for me I've got barley on here um, you know if you want to move somewhere I've got um, the Gold Coast on there so like Visions of like the apartment you want to have. Um, here's another one, you know, and um, even like materialistic things. So for me, that's um, my dream car, which is a Golf MK6 GTI. Nice car. So I just got some pictures of you know what I, you know, would like the car to look like. Um, nice sporty looking car. Um, so yeah, um, then material again. We've got. A bike so this is the Kona Sutra which is a um, sort of like a bike packing bike it's got the gravel gearing set up it's the kind of bike I'd like to get and like the bike packing bags and stuff um, and then the things you want to do so for me I want to start a podcast and whoever else to get me motivated than Joe Rogan I also want to start my own apparel brand so I started this brand called Trexmo a long time ago and it's kind of failed business idea but I kind of want to get back into it. Part of the reason why I wanted to do this, because these are my artworks here, these two, is to create artwork and put them on clothing because I like the creative process of creating art and stuff. Also, I'm starting my own cooking show and cooking channel. I love this guy's YouTube videos. He's a vegan chef. Um, so what I do is I pick people that I really admire and that are doing, you know, what I essentially want to do. So example, Jamie Oliver, he's been a really good inspiration of mine for a long time um, for cooking. So, you know, just taking those people and putting them on here and envisioning, you know, my life if I was to inject their teachings and and essentially, you know, it's, it's, it's putting these people as, as mentors in my life, if that makes sense. Um, and then I put quotes. I like quotes. I like a lot of really cool, meaningful quotes. So, for example, Paul Walker. See, I loved the way this guy lived his life. Um, and I just put some of his quotes here. So, for example, here's one quote here. Remember that no matter how cool you think you may be, you're not cool enough to look down on anyone ever. And then another one is, you know, all that really matters is that the people you love are happy and healthy. Everything else is just sprinkles on the Sunday. I just love it, you know, so I put that stuff in there, eating more fruits and veggies, you know, the vegan way of life can get unhealthy if you just eat Domino's vegan pizzas all the time, so I'm kind of wanting to make sure that I get that nice balance of really good um, fresh fruit and veggies in the diet. And then you got other quotes here, um, Steve Jobs quotes, 
I could read out all the quotes on here and really, really like all the quotes on here. Um, this is one about just being creative and, you know, doing my part in the world. Um, and then we have, like, the camera. I want a nice camera. So that's another thing that I want. Um, now, this one here represents spirituality and me wanting to gain more spiritual awareness and growth, um, which is something that I really want to focus on through things like meditation, like going on meditation retreats and that sort of stuff. Then we have Russell Brand, who's someone I admire in terms of his spirituality. Um, Rich Roll, he's also a he's an ultra distance runner. Wanted to get into that as well. Um, and then the two guys I admire for my blog, Cycle Travel Overload, uh, Bicycle Touring Pro and Ali from Cycling About. These guys have their own products and businesses that they're running on their blogs. Um, and I wanted to create my own ebook. So I've got these guys here as sort of like, you know, visual mentors in a way. Just finding someone who's achieved what you want to achieve and see their, you know, success right there in front of you. And then you can sort of visualize how you want to create that for yourself. Um, keep calm because I'm a social media manager. So I've been doing social media managing. And this is just like, yeah. You know, a reminder that I'm doing well and I'm, you know, doing all that sort of stuff. Um, I covered up some confidential stuff here that I don't want to show because it's like the brands that I work with. Um, you know, volunteering and stuff like that. That's something else that I wanted to do. I've done a bit, a little bit of that with the Australian bushfires. Like I helped out in the local community and stuff. But but I am looking for other ways to volunteer and help out in this current disaster that we're under. Um, if you guys have any ideas, like you know, what organisations I can sign up for. Um, to volunteer, let me know. That'd be great. Um, and then there's just a heap of other things here that you know, really passionate about that um, I hope to achieve. And you now we've got keep calm and earn 10k a month, like make $120,000 a year. That's the goal, you know, yin yang. I see this as like the representation of our world, like you have order and then you have chaos, and there's a potential for each inside. And our goal in life should be to live along this line. So I like this is like how the world is, like in a visual representation of a simple logo. I just I just love that. So it's really cool. Um, you know, I'm grateful for. So it's making sure that I do gratitude journaling and stuff. I want to have my own vegan cookbook, um, YouTube channel. I want to get over fifty thousand subscribers, um, and all that kind of stuff, guys. So it's just like putting all the things that you want to achieve, who you want to be all your goals and stuff and it's something that you can just look at at a daily basis to remind yourself you know also if you guys know Steve from Rake and Profit I got him on here because um, I kind of want to like have the business he sort of has on YouTube with his success and stuff and helping people make money online so I want to take like that aspect of his you know, personal brand and stuff, and inject that into Cody Orgel in a way. And um, I've been following him for a while. He actually got me into like selling stuff on eBay and stuff in the early days. And um, yeah, hopefully we'll get him on an interview on the podcast as well when I get that started. So that'd be cool. But yeah, guys, there's just so much stuff here, and it's just super, just super passionate to share it with you guys because it's um, it's just bloody awesome. So yeah guys, that is it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys want to make your own vision board, I can't recommend it enough. You should probably do it. It's definitely benefited me. It just gets you sort of motivated when you see, you know, what you want to achieve. And when, you know, you get to the end of the year and you look at the vision board and you're like, oh wow, I'm actually living in this apartment right now. I have this bike. I am living this life. I am this person. Um, it's incredible to, to look and pretty much, you know, if you're able to like cross off most of the things that are on this board and, and be like, wow, I've implemented that into my life. It's, it's really creates that amazing sense of achievement. Um, and it's just awesome. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any other questions and stuff like that. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.